Hi, this is Silverbender188, and today is the this is the first episode of some Forge World tricks. Uh, essentially, Halo Reach Forge World tricks. Um, I'm going to be teaching various little tools, not necessarily glitches, but just like little tricks you can do within Forge. Okay, so first we're going to start off going to Forge World, the basic one, and start up the game. And in this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making essentially a trap floor that whenever you get on it, you can no longer jump or you can't get out. Essentially, you're just stuck there. And you would think, oh, it would be, that would just use grab lifts. Wrong. There is actually a different method to use. All right. And we're going to make ours just a little bit flashy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into structures, buildings, and bunker round. Now you can set it set it up whatever height you want. Doesn't matter. I like to set mine flush with the ground like this. And go ahead and create another one. Make sure you have snap if you want it to be perfectly aligned. Otherwise you can take the time to to attempt what, yeah, whatever. And we're going to set up essentially like this. Alright, next what we're going to do is you're going to put, you're going to go to walls, go to wall double. And essentially place it where it just meets. Where essentially, it's kind of like a little pit. See how there's that depth right here? Make sure you have that. Alright, next what you're going to do is you're going to go under gadgets, one way shield three and line that up to where the red is facing the floor and you're going to drag this until there's one of two ways you can do this you can either have it A where it's like that very deep blue noticeable or you can lower it just a little bit more to where it's a little subtle I like to have mine where it's noticeable and if you go over and walk in it you can't jump and since you can't jump you can't get out of this little spot now essentially you can reverse this and do the same for the inside. How you have just that right there. So what, but we're going to invert it this time. So we're going to take this and flip it to where the blue side is facing down instead of the red. And you're going to essentially do the same thing to the roof. Essentially, you jump and hit it, and you are now stuck in midair. Although, yes, there is little spots where you can just slide right out. Uh, you can fix that with walls or anything you want, but this, essentially, just the basic. You get on the ceiling, you're stuck. You, this could also be used for, like, midair travel, kind of like a skyway. Like have two bases with falling below, and then you just have a bunch of blocks with these set up all the way down. The players jump and just move forward, and they slide. Because as you can see, my legs are in jumping position, and I move across. And once I finally fall off, I'm back on the ground. So this has been Silverbender188 with the first episode of Forge Forge World Tricks, and I will see you in my next episode. Bye. Uh, this part is where I was talking about, like, kind of like the little sky transportation type thing. For the people who didn't understand, you would place these on top of the ceilings. But in order to get them to move forward at the corners, you have to put another one way. Like, that would force them onto the next one. Because unless they're perfectly straight, it doesn't like to have you there. So. Essentially, you just jump up on there. And 
and voila. <clears throat> you have your little sky path, and you, you can unfortunately you can only do it for so far, considering you're even four of each one way shield. So that's why I incorporate it kind of like this. To like, if you want to do something from here to there, you're gonna have to have a lot of land in between in order to do it. So you could probably have at most about like if you do one piece per or one one way shield per double wall. You could probably have a good four sky transfers, or whatever you want to call them. So, yeah, that's it.